G'day guys, my name's Josh, yo, kid call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19, we're about to continue the Eclipse series in today 14, we're coming up to the next Blood Moon Horde, and if you remember how it went for the Day 7 Horde, this is probably going to go badly, admittedly, I haven't really changed much of my tactics from then to now, yes, I've upgraded my little house upstairs a little bit more, but it's... Still not anything really to write at home about or even really survive at home about. So I might be in a teensy tiny little bit of trouble. And by that, I mean quite a lot of trouble. But at least this time, we have a pistol. We have an AK. We have a machete. We have some offense to try and counter the waves of undead I'm about to face down. But overnight, while I've been waiting for my cement mixer to <coughs> sort itself out, I've gone through and beaten down most of these walls. A little bit left on this one. We could just sort you out. It took a very long time because stone axes are particularly great at the whole breaking down concrete thing despite you know mushy zombified fists tearing through concrete like it's made out of melted butter an actual tool it chips away to the way you would expect it to this is how this is the kind of damage that a zombie hand should do not like you're coming up to it with a reinforced jet powered rocket uh, rocket powered even bloody sledgehammer but in there what i'm gonna do real quick I'm gonna grab this because it really makes sense how it was all laid out before. Put another forgy boy up there. When you're done crafting, I'll move. I'll move the cement mixer down inside that little ledge there as well. But real, damn it, real quick. Turns out we have a visitor. Well, get the team crumpets out because we could. Oh my lord! Oh, you're right in front of me. You were right next to me. Oh, all I saw was a gaping, soggy, just dripping hand with the skin hanging off and inside my orifices. How, how are Screamers still showing up? I took down all the torches. I did all the things I was supposed to do. And Screamers are still coming over and causing me issues. It's really bloody inconvenient. In fact, what I am going to do, just to kind of get this all looking nice and lovely, hold E on. Wait, did I take everything out of you? I did not. That was almost very, very silly. Let's quickly take that and move it down now. I'll get some plates or something and block off that other side. Although, interestingly, because I have broken down a bit of that wall, I can now see that it doesn't actually line up with the um the bathroom like i was thinking a couple of days ago grab you thank you and bang you just like straight into here there we go that looks way way nice now it's actually like seated in reality which i always enjoy you guys can go back in there you guys can go away you come with me and so yeah like around the back here it doesn't quite line up how i thought it would but that's okay that's okay. I'll grab a couple of sheets. I'll plug up that gap. No one will know the difference. We can move on and keep, keep our little bunker looking nice and lovely. I don't think I have any paint anywhere around. Maybe some of the mods. I've got one pink dye, which will give me like 15 paints. Not very many at all, but I'll copy that texture so I can paint to look like concrete. Paint you and paint you. It only takes one per crack. Some of the paints take like a whole lot. You know, like talking like five paints per uh per swish of your, paint, uh, your paintbrush is kind of bullshit if you ask me this is the way the game works sometimes put you away put you away take you back all right now look at that that looks way bloody nicer i mean yeah a little, little, little like nubbin little like butt cheek sticking out through the wall but that's okay the forge has a booty that cannot be contained by concretes you're still pumping i'll wait for another six so i can get a nice fat stack of, of uh of 400 to upgrade everything i can and i'm gonna have to like, pick and choose what needs to be upgraded the most i think i think the poles i put in probably first and then the block underneath and then the block on the top that's oh that's a couple too many take you like that you can say in there i think that's the hierarchical hierarchical there's the hierarchy of how I should order it uh, for my upgrades. I get rid of that bloody tree there. I didn't realize I planted it so that I couldn't see anything when I came out topside. So yeah, I think just like you get one. Takes 10 per pop. So I can upgrade 40 blocks. It might be enough for me to get through most of this and come out the other side with a little bit of leftover. Got through the whole of the bars. I only used less than half of my concrete. So it might actually come out okay from this one. I know I should do the corners as well, but that'll have to happen later. Bonds are at level 22. Oh, damn it. I forgot. I did definitely scrap all of my cobblestone to make all those stones. And I knew I shouldn't have done that because now I'm regretting it. Uh, let's go bang about somewhere and see if we can grab ourselves some cobblestone. There's some cobble up in the top of the uh, Woodle Hall over this. So I could grab some of that hotness and take it home with me. That was silly, Josh. You knew this would happen. You did it anyway. Now you're paying the price. Oh, God damn it. I was trying not to do that. I didn't want to wake everybody up up there, but I guess I'm going to have to anyway. 
could just murder you while everyone upstairs is having a bloody silent disco. That's not very silent at all. Who have we got? Who have we got to deal with? I didn't see any rads or anything. There's a couple of regular zombos. That's fine. Me, if they're just ferals. But I fight ferals every bloody day of my life. My whole world is infested with ferals. In fact, you know what? Have that. Oh, Skoma copped up the chin and enjoyed it. But, rude. And you gave me an abrasion. You're still not dead? How freaking body armored are you? For goodness sake, on abrasions, on abrasions, on abrasions, I'm infected. Skomo just refused to quit. It's like he's in a freaking all you can eat buffet. And instead of getting to the end of the line with a pile of food in his plate and going, you know what? I've probably had enough. Nah, old mate Tupalicious over here decided he wanted to lick the bottom of the grease traps just to get extra calories, you fat fuck. I'm not gonna spend too long here. Just grab a couple of pallets worth of cobble for myself. Thank you. Then I need to get home, gargle some honey, and also like put some band-aids on my abrasion. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I did get very complacent. I was very cocky and I went up there not really thinking much of it at all and they wrecked my shit. Serves you right, Josh. Put your head back where it deserves to be. Take it out of your ass and screw it back onto your shoulders before the horde. Learn your lesson before you're in a situation where you don't have the opportunity to learn lessons anymore. Oh, that was just bad, bad pineapples. Let's get back inside. I'll deal with the horde base in a second. I've got my own health to deal with right now. Oh, that was bad. My infection is almost all the way gone. It's got 0.1%, so it should be gone. Well, now, actually, now it's on 0.0%, but for some reason, it's still hanging around. That's all right, though. Concrete starting the set. It's still early enough that I'm just not really worried about it. Yeah, this is why I want to bring extra cobble home because there's a lot of blocks around here that are actually a little bit cooked. There we go. And upgrade you. Good, good, good. As long as I get the concrete poured, I said it before. If the concrete is poured before midday, then you should, barring any exceptional circumstances, you should have that done and set and lovely by the time the horde shows up. So it's got a little bit of time off my sleeve. No need to rush just yet. Oh, what an adventurous morning for a horde night. This is why I should just stay at home and twiddle my thumbs before the horde shows up. I go out and go adventuring, even for just like little errands like getting cobblestone. It goes badly for me. The numbers have turned red because it's after 8 a.m. I'm just going to cruise on here for a little bit and just knock down a couple of these fences. You can see where I've done it on this side just to free up a little bit more space so there's not as much around for the zombies to deal with. That was a risky shot, but I got her in the end. I don't think she even made a peep. God, these screamers are really starting to get on my nipples right now. They have always shown up at the most inopportune times. But at least you hear them kind of like trundling through the grass. Not super good at the stealth. You hear them kicking over all the bushes and like disturbing bee nests and stuff like that. It's just a very loud ruckus trundling towards you. There we go, like that. See, I'm going to try and free up some more space in the fence. Because the last thing I need is them to realize that they could probably like make this jump up here, make the jump up to there, and come up that way. I don't want them to do that. I want them to have to go through the walls here where I've actually built the protection. I don't have a massive amount of concrete remaining. I'm going to do 10 more blocks. Which I don't have enough to do the top layers. Although I might do once my cement mixer downstairs is done do whatever it's doing. So should I do the corner blocks? Maybe. I'm not sure if that's actually going to make it too much of a difference. Although that is all that's standing between well, me and the roof falling on my head. So not a bad idea. How's my cement mixer going? It's been running for a little bit longer now. There should be some more concrete for me back down here. Can't wait to eventually beat down that, uh, that iron door over there so that I can actually get in and out using the door. Is that it? That's all you've got for me? Come on, surely I can do more than that. Surely you got more than that for me. No, I really don't. I'm out of sand. All right, fair enough then. Well, let's turn half of you into sand like that. I just need a little bit more. I'm like a freaking guy. I'm, I'm like a bloody co uh, concrete addict. It's like a cocaine addict. I'm like a bloody concrete addict. I'm always just pining for just a little bit more. I always feel like I'm just a little bit shy of being where I need to be. Grab you. Put the rest of you guys away. I'll come back a little bit later. I promise. You guys are ready to go. Harvest you. Harvest you. Push you guys away. I'll turn you into some more spores a little bit later. Got bigger fish to fry right about now. I don't think I have a choice. I think I just have to do all of it. I don't think I can get away with not upgrading the pillars over here. That is like, I've talked about, I've talked about this a lot actually, about how like where you should upgrade first. And I always talk about upgrading like the most critical parts 
first. Like, if you're building a killing corridor, making sure the strongest point of that is your pillars down below. Because if they destroy the pillars, the whole thing comes down, and you're basically cooked anyway. So, it doesn't matter what you build above it. If your foundations aren't strong enough to handle it, then you're bananaed regardless. Speaking of, I'm now a little bit bananaed because I can't do much more. I'm gonna have to do what I didn't want to do. I'm gonna have to go gr jump on my bicycle, pedal away, go see Trady Potato, and buy all the concrete mix that he has. And probably his cobble and anything else I can as well, because I need everything to go my way right about now. And that means, in fact, you know what? I'll take you, because 10% discount on concrete will be substantial. Oh, I just didn't want to do it. I just didn't want to do it, but I need the resource. And to get it done before midday, I can do whatever I like after midday, but construction has to happen early on. There's a vulture right on my tail. There you are. Damn it, too early. I, I, I clipped him a little bit. I clipped his wings. Somehow he was still able to fly, though. Uh, in fact, I'm sure we'll also start to repair that stuff. Maybe I'm going to buy myself some pipes or something off him once I get inside. What have you got for me? You got jailbreakers. I'll take both of those. I will take. Yeah, all right. I'll take the loot and candy because I do like me some loot and candy. Rock busters, mining harvest plus 20%. I'll take you for a rainy day, but I'm spending my money on things that aren't what I actually came here to spend it on. I'm also a little bit peckish. I might just buy you real quick and slurp you down in old mate's front yard. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Hey, bud. How you doing? What's going on? Trader Joel. Messy inventory, please. And real quick, concrete mix. Oh, before I do anything. Sorry. Sorry. Get out of that. Gobble up the candy. Nice, nice, nice. And now we can buy. Save ourselves that extra 5% or 10% whatever it was. $2,600 redos. I hope you're worthwhile. That's actually... That's actually a fair amount of concrete. Basically, that's all the concrete I just made all over again, which I'm a big fan of. What else have you got to sell me, Knackers? What else can I take off your hot little hands? I'll take the gunpowder. I will take the cobblestone rocks. Yes, please. I've got rebar frames. I don't need any more right now. And... Not a whole lot else, actually. You're not really tickling me giblets in what you're offering me here, big boy. Hmm. All right. Never mind then, I suppose. What's the secret stash? Double check if I missed anything. No, not really. All right. No whackers then. Here. My again. pleasure, mate. I'll see you another day. Assuming I survive tonight. But I've done what I could. I've bought what I can. Still got some money left over, which is fine. Let's head back home. So now that I've got the um the concrete to do it, let's just keep going like this. I've got the cobblestone to scrap down into um into stones. And annoyingly, like if I scrap all of that 796, only gives me a fraction of what you would normally get. But if I scrap them individually, it gives me one to one. Damn it, that's the wrong way to do it. So if I scrapped each one of those cobbles individually, I'd get more stone than doing it the lazy way and scrapping the whole stack. It's annoying, yes, I agree, but it's just the way, you know, I suppose that'd be my reward for sitting there and painstakingly separating each one of those and upgrading it bit by bit. Speaking of upgrading bit by bit, we're in our last little stretch here, and then this joint is ready to bloody rock and roll. Got the concrete to do my upgrade, should I need to? What I am a little bit worried about, though, now that I look at it, is going to be like crawlers and stuff like that. Because if they're down here and doggos, they're not really going to pop themselves up and they'll slowly break all this down... And that could be a bit of an issue. Do I have flagstone blocks? How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need ten of these sides, so I need 40 of you. No, I don't. I need, uh, 10, 20, 28, 36. I need 36 of those because I don't need to do a count of the corners for this side. I don't need to count each and every corner. So it's like four times nine, really, which is. 36, use the finger method to figure out how that works. I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna put myself down some wedge tips. Just on the front like this, very similar to how the extinction base was, just to try and pop a couple of those puppets up so I can see them and kill them. If they get stuck down below, then they're gonna slowly like chip their way through. They pop their noggins up, I can kill them, and we might have a better chance of surviving. Put the last one down. Nice, nice, nice. Now, oh, that's the wrong one. Now, the problem here is that it's now, it is now midday. So I can't turn these into concrete even if I wanted to. Because I, oh, but it's right on the nip. Do I have enough to do it? I reckon I do. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going for it. We're going big or we're going home. If I've got the concrete, may as well give it a red hot crack and see how we go. It's a couple of minutes either side. 
we might get lucky. If not, it'll be wet when the horde shows up. But they shouldn't do too much damage to wreck onto this. I might better get away with it. I still want to go raid the Space Needle or the Sky Needle, but now I'm thinking as well that having these little wedge ships here, I mean, clearly they're a ramp, so they might pop a couple of zombies up and get a little bit out of my reach, having their noggins just above the window up there. So, here's my next thought. Maybe, I never, I never like using wood spikes, but I think in this case I might have to. Maybe I put a ring of wood spikes along the top up there, like stuck against the wall, and that's might dissuade the zombies from getting up and cause me issues like that. I'm not sure if it's a good idea, but it's an idea all the same. I've got the wood to do it, I'm pretty sure. Might be worth a red hot pineapple. It took a full hour in game, but we're gonna get it done before 1 p.m. Bonza, mate, level 23, got two skill points to spend. Just like my bloody shirt. All right, what can I spend those points on? Two skill points. Run and gun, uh, I just, I would like to, I would like to reload fast, actually, I know it goes into Gunslinger. So if I wear my agility gogs overnight, instead of my XP goggles, I'll be able to get an extra point in here. I can spend a point to that one, and I can spend another point into here. And then if I get another skill point later, I can go extra deep cuts and extra Gunslinger, which is probably going to be better for me than the XP gogs. So I think that's the way to go. Let's go back downstairs real quick. We'll grab our agility goggles, the ski goggles, bang them on our eye sockets like a big flappy ball sack. And then we can get the extra points done. Not in that one, Josh, in this one. There you go, grab them real quick. Bang you on your noggin. Right, edge point and agility. So I can buy that one. That gives me a tier five. And let's go that one for now. It means I can also make Inflict up to five bleeding wounds on an enemy. Power attack inflicts four. Glancing blows have a 40% chance to cause one bleeding wound. And enemies run 15% slower when bleeding. So that's actually a really good one. Plus extra 30% more damage. Craft tier four knives. How are we looking on the old shady front? Machete. Still haven't got a dang need to find a schematic for it. But what I do, I can make an even better one. And I do have actually, how many point, uh, pass you make? 12, uh, 12 pass make a machete. I have nine. But if I take those goggles off, then I only need 10. All right, but I'd get, this is risky. How many do I get out of you? Move all attachments for scrapping. I need to, I just want to see, I just want to see how many I get for it. Scrap, I get an extra four out of that one. And that'll put me to 12. No, it won't put me to 13. All right, nice, nice, nice. Okay, starting to get some sort of semblance of an idea of what my plan should be. Put you, no. Oh. Stupid. Put you back on my on my noggin. Let's put you into there. Let's get how many was it? So it was so it's eight wide. So I need eight, 16, 24, 32. Need 34 spiky boys, if you don't mind. 32. It's gonna take most of my wood, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. You go back into there. Do I have the time to raid? Yes, I do, I think. Probably a risky decision, but I'm going for it anyway. There is the space needle, or sky needle. There is the needle. People always tell me a whole bunch of different names for it, and I've just been, I've just been calling it the needle, but I call it the space needle more often than not, I know. Probably should have raided this place a little bit before, well, the death knell before the horde. Look, so many are bringing forth concrete as well. We're gonna skirt around the, oh, g'day, mate. We're gonna skirt around the outside, see what we've got to deal with. Hit you, hit you. Oh, the extra point in knives is already paying off. Sneaky deaky painkillers, let's search the rest of these governments around here. Tough guy, Sonny, so extra fortitude and some water while well, I'll slurp you up. Also got some meat to slurp as well. Slurp, 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 put it in your lips and lick around the tip. That's a whole different kind of slurping. Someone's mad at me. Wait, there was glass at the front door, wasn't there? Is someone coming out to find me? Sounds like it. But stop breaking the bloody needle. I have to live here maybe one day. Well, nothing for it, I suppose. The door is locked, but fortunately, old mate here beat a way through for me. Well, so there's boxes in there. Do I go? How do I get? How do I get into this place? I mean, look, I'm a fat, lazy piece of shit, and I don't take the stairs I can avoid at any point in my life. Can I sneak on through here? There's nothing in here, actually, is there? All right. Well, I've come this way. May as well finish it off. Oh, yep. All right. Well, this must be the elevator shaft. Seems like it's out of order, though. But I will be way into here if there's loot to be. Never mind, it's unlocked. Don't bit way into anywhere. If there's looting to be gotten, I will take it if I can. Anything in you? Some more vitamins. That's nice. Just a couple of sneaky deaky cubicles. All right, fair enough. Look at the beating down the door. When I can just go like that. Does it break in front of me? Oh, and a toilet pistol again. I feel like 
they're getting more and more prevalent, maybe? I don't know, there wasn't one in that one, though, but I appreciate getting one all the same. I will scrap you for the part. Although, what kind of... We're only doing 30. The other one I got is 32, so I'll scrap you. I'll eat some more boiled meat and start making my way up the stairs of death. Oh, there's so many stairs. All right, you know what? This, this is, this is unsubstantial. There was an elevator. Absolutely, I could live here. But imagine having to come home every day and run all the way up these stairs all the bloody time. Nah. I'd rather go down the little air vent chute down into my base I got now and live three feet on the ground. The views could be lovely up here. But this ain't worth it. You know, this ain't what I'm all about. I'm I'm too lazy for this. Although I think I can make it to the top of uh, finally. That was way, way too far for me to run. Helmet light off so we can go sneaky deekies. It's pretty well lit up here. In fact, it's very well lit up here. Let's go with the bow. I don't think I'll be able to get close enough to stab a couple of muppets. Oh my god. Quickly murder you. Murder your previous owner as well. Damn it, pelicans coming for me though. What is, why are there pelicans and dogs and all sorts of nightmares living up here when there shouldn't be? Go away. Not in the mood, you bastard. You just wait until I was not paying attention to you anymore to come over and give me a peck. Rude. There's really just like pelicans and dogs all through here, but I think we're pretty much done now. That's the uh, top of the elevator shaft. That's where I came up. There's some goop around the place, but it does have a nice view though. Oh, it really does have a nice view. Ah, oh, all those stairs. Is that too much of an ask for me? Oh, look at my little house down there as well. I mean, I could leave that down there as my horde base or something, I suppose, and just live up here. Because the view is really nice. I had those, like, broken windows on the outside. They might have to try and break those. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to, but I kind of don't want to at the same time. Get you out of the way. There's a sneaky ladder here with probably some more Muppets upstairs for me. Nope, no more pelicans to deal with. I see that sneaky purse up there. And a bungee. Oh, God, don't get too close to the edge, Josh. And a bungee as well. Do you reckon they've put it in so that there's, um... Th there's, like, uh, hay bales? Or hay bales don't save you anymore. If there are hay bales at the bottom, I'd jump off there in a heartbeat, but I don't think there is. I reckon... Oh, no, there's a ladder just here. I see it. I see it. I was going to say, there's definitely a way to get up there if there's something to be looted. So another ladder. Yes, there is just here. Go all the way to the tippy bloody top. Anything in you? No, nothing at all. Can't go any higher. Like the views are lovely. And after spending so long in Silent Hill with no visibility at all, it's nice to be able to see. Oh, I'm still on the fence. If it wasn't for that ridiculous climb all the way up the top, then I am already be sold on this place. Oh, I just don't know. Also, is there any loot up here? I've cleaned it all out. Is there anything left for me to grab? Found myself a new tier 6 primitive bow, which is actually... What are you doing? 33. So you're on 33 compared to 28. So you're worse. So I'll scrap you. Scrap the chairs I found as well. And the cooking pots. Did find some loot and gogs as well. But I just bang them on while I'm here. While I'm just like raiding the last of this place. May as well. Why not? Not a real like whole lot to be grabbed though. There's no like reinforced chest. There's nothing good. There's nothing fun. There's some bones on the ground. I'll take them too. I'm going to take all the chairs. Given I'm going to spend all of my wood back down at the base. Uh, making all those spiky boys. So we're going to take all of these things. I have to like take them down anyway later. If I am going to move here. You hiding something? No. Anything in the trash? Just some oils. But it's really only some nice fluids there. Really only this like kitchen area over here that's here to be raided. There's nothing else really around for me. A bit of a shame. Grill in the oven and nothing in the other one. It's the sinks I'm after though. Sinks give you the recipes. What have you got for me? Nothing and a wrench. I'll scrap the wrench for the iron. I just don't know. I just don't know if I want to move here or not. I picked up everything I possibly can. There's still some candles and stuff. It's reasonably well lit, which I kind of like. Power station right there. That was like, that's like a... It's like an old village. The bonus of being up here, though, is I can kind of survey the surroundings and try and get a better grasp. Oh, it's like a forbidden city out in the forest out that way. In fact, that's that's where I spawned. Those are the two uh, first houses I raid and the shiny building over there. It's like a forbidden city out in the forest. All right, looks like there's like an old west town up on a plateau out in the, um, in the frozen area. Oh, and maybe another tradie. It's hard to tell from here. There could be another trade potato just there. Or it could be another fake compound. You never bloody know these days. What else is around here, though? Anything out this way? That's the way over to the other. That's the actual tradie just there. So we've been out that way a little bit. 
What else is around? A cash register. Oh, cabinet I haven't raided yet. With some water in it. And another one with some blueberry seeds. Got some of those already. What's out this way? That's the high school. And wait, have I been out there? I have. In fact, that's all the way down. That's the concrete plant all the way over that way. The screamer farm. What about this way? Anything interesting that way? Doesn't really look like it. Not too much. But I haven't really gone that way at all. But okay then. At least I'm kind of getting like a better grasp of my surroundings. I think I should move up here. It's annoying because there's not really any walls or anything around. So I like, kind of turn into rooms or whatever. But I can do that myself. And just kind of deal with it as I can. But I think... I think, yeah. I think this would be a good place to live as long as I don't faff around too bloody much. Alright, let's go back down. Back down the gigantic bloody stairwell of doom. Going down is much faster than coming up. Yes, it'd be annoying and tedious, but I think the views are worth it. I suppose as well, I'm just beating down this boulder outside. I have opened up that elevator shaft in the middle there. So maybe like I can just put some ladders going all the way up. There is that door in there as well. So I can build myself my own elevator. Elevator, I say, by just having like a ladder that I can climb and down on. That may actually work out a whole lot better. I didn't really think about that when I was running up the, the stairwell the first time. But with that in mind, yeah, I think I'll definitely move in. I think I'll definitely move into that. The panoramic views are second to none. So that will be the place that I call home. Got all the stones out of you. Did I get many out of it actually? Not really much at all. Get on the bike. We're stuck in the bloody ground. There we go. All right, let's head back home and start actually preparing ourselves for the incoming horde. Not a whole lot of time left over. It's not far away at all. The world's already starting to turn red. Time for me to start, start <laughs> stop faffing about and actually start preparing for this thing. So I've got a little bit of time now, nicely, to actually sort out my, um, uh, well, what I'm going to take into the horde. Right, let's go everyday carry. There, there we go, just like that. So I know that this is the normal stuff that I take every day of the week. I need my stone axe because I'm going to need to, you know, actually repair stuff as we go. I'll leave you guys in there for the moment. I'll take with me, actually. I'll take the bullets and the Blundy Boy ammo. I'll keep the Blundy Zombie just in case, never when you might need them. Ammo and tools. I'll take you and you. Uh, secondary pistol, you're doing... Significantly less damage, but having a backup pistol actually wouldn't be such a bad idea, I don't think. What I will do, though, I'll take the anti-rat out of you, and I'll bang it into my nicer pistol, get some extra damage out of you. Do I have any... What mods... I know I have the mods option at the top here. What mods can I make that will go into my pistol? I don't have much forward steel. Muzzle break might be a better idea. I mean, I'm just looking for the extra damage, which you just get from whatever mod you put into there. Is there anything... In fact, I can't make many mods at all. I saw the flash of the thunder. Zeus is getting his booty on. I think I'll make one of these. Scrap almost oil mechanical parts. Um, oil, forged iron. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. For goodness sake, Josh, use your bloody eyes. There you go. Mechanical parts in here too somewhere. God, everything is in shambles. Mechanical parts and... I forgot where the one was. Polymers. That's right. Polymers. Grab you. Real quick. Let's make one of those. And bang that into my pistol. Oh, what else? I mean, I could probably also make a second. Yeah, let's make a second one for the other pistol or maybe the AK. I'm not sure, but I'm sure I'll find a use for it. I've got my spiky boys as well, which is kind of nice. I can put you guys back in there. I don't even have you guys. I don't know. I'll scrap you guys another time. Not the time worrying about it right now. You guys can go away. And what else can we do here? What else can we use? Repair kits. Gonna need those. Grab you. Grab the AK. How am I going to load this out, though? How, how am I going to do this loadout? Don't need either of you, so you guys can go back in there. Oh, I'm going to start getting nervous and scared and panic. I think I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. Real quick, I'll repair you. So I've got a free spot down here that I don't really know what to do with right now. In fact, uh, I mean, explosives are always dangerous. I am too much of a muppet to actually use explosives properly. So that's always a risky idea. But I suppose in this instance, it might actually come in handy. You just never bloody know. Hey, um... What else can I do in here? I'm well fed. I'm well nourished. I've got my mega crushes, food, water, coffees for stamina regen, frothies for stamina regen as well. I mean, that's going to be my go-to rather than the coffees. I keep the coffees in case of a rainy day. I've got lots of this going on. Let's go. Grab you real quick. Modify you. So that is going to be my mainstay. That's my main, my main best friend. 900 rounds of ammo for it as well, which is kind of nice. Got that extra one coming in. It's just, it's just, it's just like the extra damage that makes me kind of excited about it. Or maybe I just 
Put the extra... No, that's Josh. Okay, yeah. Let's actually be sensible here. Put the extra pistol away. You guys come with me. I will keep... The froth is there just in case for the extra stamina stuff. I've got my skull crushes to stack up as well. I need my materials to be able to repair stuff if I need to. Grab that. Grab that as well. Never know what you might need when push comes to shove. Anything else in here that's useful to me? Not bloody really. Oh, I'm just getting scared. I'm getting scared. Would you hurry up? 10 more seconds. Got an hour before the horde shows up. I'm starting to really clench. Got the muzzle brake mod, bang you into that one. Nice, make sure all my guns are reloaded, locked and ready to go. Uh, what's actually in you? Four grip mod. Uh, I can't put any extra into the AK anyway, so I might as well keep it on that one, just in case shit really hits the fan. <sighs> okay, you're not loaded either. Oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm pooping. I'm starting to poop, I need some poopy pants because I am just gonna struggle with this, I think. Let's just quickly inspect how we've gone. All the concrete seems to have set, except for that one block. One block remaining. There's an hour for you to sort your life out, please. So can you please just, one of them, evaporate some of that moisture and get a little less sticky? That would be good. But everything else here seems to be pretty hunky-dory. So let's get up onto the top and get through. There we go. Up to there. How's this going to work? I... Don't think this is going to work particularly well for me. The bigger problem here as well is that I can't actually do anything against vultures. So if they come down... Oh, I didn't put the spikes down. Idiot. All right, we've got a little bit of time to do it though, Josh. No need to panic. You'll be okay. Out here. Drop back down to there. You get out of the way for it, please. And bang you onto that one. Damn it. Go to the right spot, please. Don't lose you later on. And real quick, I'm going to go on face... And we're gonna stick here like that. So if they do start getting on top of one another, they'll get caught underneath the rim here. Then hopefully they will die on the spikes. Not as concerned. Oh god, there's an extra light there, which is good for me, but a bag I can't put a spike down. I don't really care about the experience points, this kind of thing. At the moment, I get experience in killing other zombies other ways. I'm more concerned with just surviving the night. That is priority numero uno. A couple of them left over, just some like oversights, I guess, around the outside, but that's all right. I'll scrap you for the wood. A little bit of extra wood wouldn't go astray. Put you back down to there. All right. I think I think we're about as well prepared for this as we're ever going to be. I'm sure there'll be some of the comments pointing out that I've missed something somewhere, and I'm an idiot, and a different oversight is going to get me killed, but you know what? Too late to worry about that now. Zeus is clapping his ass in the distance. All right, I am hot. I'm ready to go. I'm in a little bunker of dreams. Oh, please let this go well. I don't want to lose. I've been wanting to do this, do this series for so bloody long. I don't want to lose it within two weeks. I want to keep going. I want to explore it more. Here we go. Five minutes left and I'm in my little bunker. I'm going to delay eating these for as long as I can because I only get five minutes and you do, well, you can stack them up. So if I had three, I could go like the whole horde nights. But I've only got two, so you'll wait until it's really done. I really need to make sure I get on it very quickly. I'm wearing the right gogs. Actually, probably should check before I got down here. I am wearing the right gogs. Good, good, good. All right, time to shine. Pop the pills, get it inside ya. Loz is immediately gone and got up into the bloody spikes up the top. It wasn't what we were supposed to do, guys, but sure. There we go. Oh my goodness, the spikes have been, the cat have been like taken apart so bloody quickly. I can't see Nance out there, but I think she's dead. I can almost reach the loot. Yes, I can. With some bullets. Thank you very much. At least now everything's kind of open so I can see everything coming. So really, all the ramps outside have done it. It has popped them up like I wanted it to, but it's also meant that they're all hitting the spikes pretty bloody quickly. Get some froth in here because you need the stamina to come back. Yes, it's going to get blurry. That's going to be okay. You also get the, um, the stamina back for murders as well, which would be kind of nice. Go a little faster, please. Slash a little faster, please. There you go. There you go. As long as the spikes are still all my kills and don't give me the, the uh, stamina regen bonus, I think I hopefully should be okay. I'm not really taking too many swings either, which is good. It's kind of hard to see what I can see. I've got this guy's leg off and then took his head off. I'm really taking limbs and heads off all over the bloody place. It's actually pretty good. There goes another limb like that. That guy's lost his head. Excuse me. Lots of guys grabbed the loop. Ow! I thought someone was inside him for a second. But you know what? It's getting a little cramped out there. I've already fired a magazine of bullets a second ago, but it's all right. No, bad. You stop. You stop. You all stop. Please try and place all the bullets where you can. No spraying and praying just yet. So, I'm not really spraying, but placing and, I don't know, judging, I suppose. 
One into you. Damage to drop Lupa. Far enough away that I can't go get it easily. That's a shame. Hopefully, it's there a little bit later. Drop Loza. Drop Construction, guys. Hard hats all over the place, but solid bullets. There we go. There we go. This is going a whole lot better than it did last time already. Drinking another Frothy to get it in here. Get some stamina back because they're getting a little bit crowded out there. Would, uh, do I need to go power strokes all the time? Maybe just regular strokes are the way to go. In fact, while they're all grouped up like that, get the pistol back out. Quickly reload. I know I've got the bloody B there for stamina regen. When they're all grouped up, it's probably worthwhile me having a crack at it with the guns. But it's probably even better to go with a pipe bomb or something when they're all like that. Quickly grab the loot. I can't quite aim properly. Maybe that, I mean, listen, I know you're getting all fuzzy because of the brewskis. That's even a pretty poor form even for you. Can I grab that loot as well? Yes, I can. Some more dollars in there. Nance, get out of the spikes, please. Slice it up. Bonds are mate level 24. Got a skill, uh, skill point to spend. It was not waiting for that to buy. Was it the pistols I was waiting for buy that for? Go in here. Gunslinger. Extra one into you. There we go. Nice. Let's keep on going like this. It should be okay. Oh, took her leg off. I feel like it's actually pretty, uh, a whole lot better for me if I do take legs off. Because then, like, then they have to like try to crawl through that gap. And it's way easier for me to like smack them in the head when they're right there crawling through. We're also standing on the front side though, which is good for me. Take your knees off. Come on. Come on. No, nope, just die instead. All right, fair enough. There you go. Arlene's lost a kneecap. We're kneecapping everybody, but so far, they're all ending up right at the front here. And not doing a whole lot of damage, but it's really bloody good for me. About as good as I could have hoped for. I'm not even going any power attacks at all anymore. It is all just normal slashing. Going full Michael Myers and slashing all the way through with as many teenagers as I can. Look, they're going to get horny and put things inside each other. I'm just going to join in and put things inside them too. Even though I wasn't really invited to the lake house. Here we go, put you down. Yeah, no, no big powerful swings. Just little ones. Still inflicting bleeding. But you know what? Let's go like this. If there's a whole group of you out here, light the fuse, drop you down there, stick it inside Nance's rack. Nice. Lots of experience out of that one. Some sneaky deaky loot as well. With some more dollar redos. Thank you. This is going fine. This is going well. I like this. The bunker so far is doing a pretty good job. I'll be honest though, I'd have much rather than a um. Uh, oh god, I almost came back into the bunker. Some Molotovs, which is so much better for this than what the pipe bombs are. Probably does a fair bit of damage to the building as well, which I'm not a fan of. Sounds like there is a crawler down there. Can you piss off, please? You need to piss off too. Taking arms off all of yous. There you go. Back around the front. Back around where they've been the whole time. Get out of the spikes, you pelicans. For goodness sake, I didn't put them there for you guys. Put them there in case you guys start playing zombie Jenga. Take your leg, hit you in the hip, doggy boy, before you get inside. Hack and slash you up. That's what I'm saving the power attacks for. This is going fine. This is going well. I'm loving this. I'm not really 100% on why, but they definitely seem intent on getting around to the front out here. I I would have thought eventually there'd be enough of them out there that they like, target the other side. Oh, Paparino trying to come through, but got caught on the bar. Unlucky, buddy boy. They kind of get stuck here sometimes. Not doing a whole lot of damage is good. But if they do spread out like that, it's only going to be better for me. It means they're less likely to uh, pick on one block in particular. Oh, man, the wood upstairs is bananaed. Maybe that's why they're trying to get around there. Might have to look at upgrading those a little bit later on as well. Hit you. Nance, kiss off, please. Get this bloody dog corpse out of the way. We're trying to hack and slash, not harvest. All right, there's a bit of a group congregating, congregating even at the back here. Have that, please. I'd have that one as well. Oh, God. Oh, it was way too close. Someone did make it inside. Didn't think that through before I threw the second one. That's all right, though. Could we take your head off just for the sake of it? There's still a pelican making a ruckus out here somewhere. I'll get up there and deal with you a bit later, buddy boy. You're not really my problem right now. Take the leg off you. Take the head off the gaping jaws of the doggy boys. We're doing all right. We're doing okay. I'm only gonna make it a couple more hours. Even though it is nighttime all the time, the horde still stops at 4 a.m. Take the legs off you. We're gonna make it a little bit further and we'll be all right. Take your leg. Can I take your leg too? Nope, just your noggin instead. What's in your loot? What have you delivered for me? An AK schematic and a hammer. Hammer's actually a really good get. And some frothies too. It's gone a bit quiet. Does that mean that we're all okay? Everything's all right out here now? Harvest the rest of you. There's still a pelican, but that's all right. I've got a pistol ready and waiting for you. Knackers, where are you? You above me? It sounds like you are. There you are. Oh, get wrecked. You shut up in the first five seconds of the horde, and now you're gone forever. Are we done? 
Are we good? What an absolute rock star of a base that was. Yes, I need to do a little bit of work to like reinforce some of the blocks up there. But for the most part, we got through that really bloody well. I'll take you. I will take you. Any other loot? Yes, there is. We nurse that died a fair way away. Another pistol doing the same damage as the other one. I'll take it all the same. It's probably loaded as well for extra bullets. I'm really happy with that. I, am, I, can't, I don't think that could have gone any better. They didn't make it through. Yes, I broke down most of the spikes, but that's okay. I think for the most part, that is about as good as I could have hoped for. Well, while we're here, let's just repair all of you back up to the top. Got a, I mean, it gave me a hammer, which I'm a big fan of. Way easier to upgrade and repair stuff with that rather than going with the stone axe of old. Just a little bit of nicks and scrapes around the place. Not really anything that I'm actually worried about. Stood up to the challenge. Damn it. Stood up to the challenge pretty bloody well. Uh, anything around this side? No. A little bit there, but that's okay. I mean, nothing's anything less than like 99%. That's really the best thing to go for. Some like like little five bits of damage here and there, but nothing really major. The biggest issue was those ones up there, but that's okay. I feel like that's that's more than okay. If I can turn them into concrete later on, but that base went really bloody well. So I have to go back downstairs and drop off all my gubbins and get ready for a new week and to move into the needle all the way over there. But I think I'll keep using this as my base for a while because it works really well given how much I'm specking into machetes. So that's going to serve me well into the future, assuming nothing really bad shows up and just tears through this place like confetti paper. But I'll have to come back and fight some more zombies and move house in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.